Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Today is today's message. Uh, my podcast, my Heal Talk Tuesday, is going to be something quite different. You know why? Because it's about being authentic. Hmm. What exactly is authentic? It's this buzzword we hear everywhere. Be true to yourself. Be authentic. So I was questioning, what does authentic really mean? Am I being authentic, being here and talking with you? Is it with you? Is it to you? So those are the things that I was thinking about. And I shared about it with my mom this morning over breakfast. As always, we sit together. We have this talk, what's happening in the world, what's happening in the country, what's happening inside our house, what's next, what are you doing, what am I doing? So as we're discussing, I'm like, Mom, remember we did a post a few years ago. It was like, oh my God, over 10 years ago. And here I am sitting in front of the computer and my mom came right behind me. And she's like, don't do it that way, do it this way. And that doesn't look like you. Um, Do the post something different. And as we were discussing in Armenia, and I turned around and said, Oh, Elis Ksong. Mom, um, but in the Aussie is in Tronem. So in Armenian, uh, in English, if I translate it, it's like, oh, there we go. Mom telling the daughter what to do, what not to do. And, you know, I don't know if this happens in your family or not, but to this day, um, I love my mom. Sometimes she's like, no, that is right, that is not. And but this is who I am. Is it? But that's not the way you come across. So this conversation of mother and daughter of what is right and what is supposed to be according to who. And if we want to think about this, it's like, what is authentic me? Is it your thoughts? Is it your feelings? Is it the way Uh, you come across for others or is it what you feel when you're by yourself and your thoughts and feelings and everything is that the same as what other people uh, perceive when you are with them so we are in a way uh, there's all kinds some are genuinely who they are in the private life and the public life Some are, can be introvert and then extrovert. So we all have it. I'm sure you have it. That in the privacy of your home, you might be completely different person. Or and when you're in the public, it's your public persona, the way you dress, the way your makeup, everything changes. So when we think about genuine self and authentic self, when I work with my clients and they share about certain things that they want to change, my first question is, is that true? Is it really true what you just said? And if it is, that's a whole different meaning than what we think because most times it's like people see me I do this for people and my number one priority is everything everybody else so when do we become authentic Um, we can use techniques of journaling you can start writing your own what are my ethics what are my values what do I believe in and is it because my mom said so, or your husband and children believe so, or what you are supposed to believe uh, according to others. 
So I encourage you to genuinely take an interest in your own beliefs without worrying about other people's expectation. Um, I remember after my father passed away, I moved in with my mom after a year and a half just to be with her. So after my long time of living by myself, which was over 30 years, coming home, it was like so odd because it's like the little girl coming home and mom saying, where are you going? What are you doing? The expectations, my thoughts and beliefs of being who I am on myself had to shift. I had to uh, think about another person that I was living with. Time, being alone is different. So the, t the whole thing changes when you are by yourself. Sometimes you can be sad and angry and everything and want that time for yourself. Create that space for yourself. So get a feedback from your friends. Is that who I am? Do I come across that way or not? Hi, hi Anna, hi Jana, how are you? Um, here's my question to you. I don't know if you live alone or you live with somebody else. Are you the same person in your private life than in your uh, public life? Uh, most people who see me, that's who I am. And yet, I am reserved and I love my privacy when I come home. It's to shut down and for at least half an hour, I do not speak. I'm, I've got my dog, I pet my dog and I go out and play with my dog. That's my sanctuary time. That's my time for me. And in the mornings, it's the same. I have my time with my dog and I go on hike. That's where I do my meditation. That's where I do my soul searching. So finding that time of solace for yourself and being authentic not that you're not authentic or you're lying or have this facade, but I think we wear so many different hats, so many different masks in order for us to fit in. And do we all have to fit in? Do you have to fit in? And what is it that we are fitting in? In high school, in junior high, we have to fit in because of peer pressure. And then at work, we modify our attire, our persona, persona to fit into that environment. So I guess as an adult, we do the same things as we do as children. So talking to my mom this morning, I said the same thing. She's like, what are you going to be talking about today at Heal Talk? What is the subject today? And I said, it's going to be about me, about us. She's like, you're going to be sharing something about us. And I'm like, you know, it's not necessarily about us, but realizing that even as adults, we have the same issues that sometimes we did as when we were young. And does it change? Hopefully we grow to a point that instead of getting frustrated, angry, banging the doors, having tantrums, it's modified to a point of having a better communication and finding a better way to communicate. I know not everybody's relationship 
with mom, especially women, mothers and daughters. Um, a lot of people have amazing relationships. Others have no relationships. And then there's others who find ways to communicate. Hey, it happens. It happens in every home. I pretty much want see is what you get. I am much the same person whether I am alone or with a amazing at home may be casual than I am at work as a hypnotherapist I'm more focused on others in public and I am more self-focused at home exactly but I love that um, being the same it's who you are that's because you are comfortable with who you are I am very comfortable with who I am. I'm comfortable in my skin, I'm comfortable with my personality, and I have absolutely no worries or issues about what others say. As a matter of fact, I welcome critique. And here's the difference. There is a difference between critique and criticism. Criticism is um, putting, finding fault and putting someone down in a way that it what you said what you did what you look like it's wrong or it's bad versus critique is by the way may I share something and if I may if you were to do this it will be better for you and it is for their benefit not our benefit so that's the difference between criticism and critique. Uh, since I was a kid, I welcomed critique so I can be better in my communication, in my changing my accent, the way I stand, the way I walk. Yes, it shows because I do come across confident. Thank you for seeing that because I feel confident in my expertise as a clinical hypnotherapist for after 24 years of doing this I believe in the work and I've seen results so it's not to doing the work pendulum we can easily help our clients as a whole and finding many ways and modalities to help someone and my clients see me genuinely as who I am and I hope most of the people who watch this can realize I do the same thing at home and uh, I've shifted uh, communication at home and with everyone else is critique versus criticism and once we learn that and accept it it becomes so much better because we don't know it all and if someone knows better by all means I rather learn because every day is a new lesson so thank you thank you so much and as a fellow hypnotherapist I thank you for the work that you do and uh, by all means share expand and may you blossom no matter where you are. I work with mothers, daughters, communication, even gentlemen who have a hard time communicating. Um, this is what relationship is all about. We find ways to relate in a relationship and it doesn't matter if it's at work or at home. So, that's the talk for today. Heal Talk Tuesday was all about communication and finding ways to become better the way we come across and being authentic is what you believe yourself to be. Thank you. Thank you, Anya John. How are you doing? Um, by the way, thank you for always being one of the supports and showing up. So all of you, I thank you.
and uh, I look forward to seeing you next week. Oh, if there is a topic that you would like me to share and bring for you, by all means, let me know. Until next week, God bless you, and may the universal light surround you always. Bye-bye. And if you like this, share it, subscribe, and go to YouTube, and you'll see the rest of all my podcasts.